This episode is sponsored by Keeps. Find out more about them later in the video. cold in the water, but we did indeed grab ourselves the Shamsha, and after a long pause, a big hiatus, we're back to continue cracking on with this and get this bad boy finished, turn this into a beautiful bit of art. In the last episode, I poked a hole in the pommel after putting a bunch of gold in it. I messed up this expensive bit of handle material. <laughs> And I overall felt like this project was gonna do better with a little bit of a break. Here's the checklist of what we gotta get done. We have to make a new pommel, engrave the pommel, make a new handle, hand sand and etch the blade, and assemble the whole thing. So let's get straight to it. The pommel is done! This episode is sponsored by Keeps. It is an online subscription service that makes it easier for men to treat their male pattern baldness and keep their hair. Did you know two out of three guys are gonna experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they are 35? And the best time to do something about it and prevent hair loss is while you still got some left. With Keeps, there's no need for awkward doctor visits and time out of your schedule. You can get treated from your home because you connect with a licensed doctor who reviews your information, recommends the right hair loss treatment plan to you, and ships the product directly to your door every three months. Through the process, you can connect with your doctor 24 seven with questions or concerns. You can track your progress. And the best thing about it is it's affordable because Keeps uses the generic versions of the FDA approved medicines. The best time to start is now as prevention is key. So please go to keeps.com forward slash forge. That link is gonna get you 50% off your first order. Big thank you to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Check them out down below, keeps.com forward slash forge. Next up, we make a new handle. Jamie, that means we've gotta go. Hunting for wood. Got it. So this is where it's gonna be getting incredibly complicated. I have this with four triangles sticking out of it, all bent in different ways. I have this, a block of wood with a bend, and I somehow need to amalgamate these together and fit them up. Now, if I want this to fit flush with the wood when all is said and done, I need to carve out the grooves in which these little triangles fit perfectly, and then somehow it goes together. In order to get something like this fit up, it takes either a ridiculous amount of skill, or a hell of a lot of luck. And unfortunately, we don't have Will working for us anymore, so we're gonna have to rely on the latter. All right, we've got to fit up on the pommel to the handle. It's now time to fit up the handle to the guard. Oh, it's a puzzle. Little dry fit up, little test fit as we're roughing it in. <laughs> that looks 
freaking cool. Oh, I'm happy with that. It is light, it is nimble. Jamie, give me your arm for a second. Let me give it a little test cut. There we go. But I thought the guard might make it a little bit too bulky to hold, but you can wrap your hands around it if you want. You wrap your hand around this way. These little lugs aren't in the way. This is a proper, proper sword. As you can see, there's still a little bit of roughness that we've got to clean up. Have an even chamfer around those guard lugs. And there's a lot of final finishing to do on the handle, but might we just be seeing some light at the end of the tunnel? So the handle is pretty much done, aside from a little buffing up and final polish. You see, on the pommel, because we brought the handle level down, I did an heirloom fit. So the pommel is now radiused around, and that helps account for the fact that my fit up is not perfect. It's a hard fit up, and by rounding out the pommel and choosing this option, it brings shadows into the area, which covers up any imperfections, and is a handy tip if you're not great at fitting things up. So with that, the handle is done, but it's not now time to hand sand and etch the blade. I actually need to work on the guard again. As you can see, on the back side, it is completely naked, and we can't be having that on YouTube. So we need to do a little bit more engraving and embellishment to it. So let's head to the microscope and cut in a touch mark. The guard is finished. It has not only been engraved on the backside, but it has been well and truly bejeweled with the addition of a little diamond. And while I was doing that, Jamie was sacrificing himself at the hand sanding station, hand sanding the other side of the blade, which means that it is now ready to go into our hopefully watertight Franken container of definitely not acid for legal purposes. It's been a long time since we started it, but the thing is done. Aside from the fact it still needs a pin in the tang, but you know, we'll forget about that. The main thing is it's done. It feels fantastic in the hand. It is light, nimble, and the most important part of this whole project for me was messing around with the ornamentation on the guard, the engraving, the inlay, the diamond. I had a ton of fun doing that. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comments down below what other weapons you would like me to make. Please go check out the range of products that we have at the Alex Steel Co. We've recently restocked grinder accessories, and we now have the Splinter 2.0, which comes in at a way better price. And of course, don't forget today's sponsor, which was Keeps. Please remember to check them out in the link down below. We really appreciate their support with this video. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you sincerely for your time. And I hope you have a fabulous new year.